don't give up, you gon' be on. Don't give up, don't give up, give up. Don't give up, you gon' be on. Don't give up, don't give up, give up. All right, so let's talk about some nostalgia. So I'm very excited for what's going to happen this weekend because you're going to the have quarantine being lifted. No, absolutely not. You're going to have this is equivalent to it as far as a music head goes. You're going to have two icons battle each other on Instagram Live. And those gentlemen, they're by the name of Babyface and Teddy Riley. Legend. When I tell you I cannot wait for this. So is it officially happening this It's officially. Weekend? All right, it's cool. officially April cool. 18th. Cool. Um, because I know one of them. Right? I know who was it? Yes, yeah, one of them had uh, Babyface. Ha Babyface got Corona, so I'm glad yeah. he's better. He had Corona. Yeah, they say him and his whole family had, had it. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so they're they're well. Um, and that shows you that he loves the music because he's like, hey, we finna still do this thing. Man, who you got in that? <sighs> Man, you know what? Originally I said Teddy, mm -hmm. but dude, when I went back and looked at check what the credits. Babyface did, I don't know. I, I really don't know. It's it's gonna be close. I I give the edge to Babyface though. Maybe because of man, Babyface. Babyface got work. records with Wayne. Boys to Men. Babyface. I ain't even talking about his R and B records. He got Babyface got rap records that people don't know about. True, but also Teddy got more, more rap records. Though. You think so? Yeah, I know. So you know, Teddy wasn't really an R and B producer. No, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah he did. That, you know, he did the Dougie Fresh song. Excuse me, Dougie Fresh, your own. No, did he? Uh, uh, yes, the show. The show? Yes. Teddy wow. Riley did that. Teddy mm. Riley did a lot of heavy D stuff. That was 80s. Right. You know what I'm saying? Then when Guy came in and Bobby Brown and stuff. Then he moved to New Jersey. Then, Jackson. yeah. See, I didn't know that. You yeah, just put bro. me on Guy. That's what I'm saying. Like I, I'm Teddy, definitely tuning in. That's for sure. Dude, I'm telling you. Don't call you. me between. What time it start? 9 o'clock. Don't call me Saturday dude. between the hours of 9 and oh 11. Oh, my God. I, I, I'm going to be busy. Bro. I don't call know. Because at first I said Teddy Riley because I'm a big Teddy Riley fan. Yeah. But. Cause I love the guy records, I love the right. Black Street records and stuff like that. The Bobby, but both of them wrote for Bobby Brown. Yeah, both of them did. So it's like, dude, like you can think that's a battle within itself. Who wrote? I wrote my prerogative. I wrote Rock with you. Right. You know what I'm saying? I wrote Rony. You wrote the, like, dude. It's just I don't know. Cause I had to go I back. I think they need to bump up to 25. 20, 25 songs. 20, man, definitely. Dude, if they did 30. Because you know, uh, they did over uh, 20 uh, premiere and Rizzo. Yeah, but they only the first 20 count, though. Yeah, they only yeah, count. Yeah. But, you know, they were rocking out. It's going to be a party, bro. Yeah. This is the first battle where people were like, I'm going to buy an outfit. Oh, it's going to be a to party, even though, go. they like, got jams. They got jams. They got dude. hits. I just hope. Here's what I saw uh, Charlemagne talking about the other day. I just hope that, the, that they played the hits. Because it's been interesting that in these battles, some of these producers are playing like their favorite songs, not I the you. people's favorite songs. I got you. I think that's where Premier went wrong, went wrong well, yeah. in his battle. I got you. Yeah, yeah I got you. I, I think that they probably will. They've yeah. been a strategize the hell yeah, out yeah, of this. Yeah, yeah, You need to play the hits. <clears throat> yeah. So this is like, dude, I cannot wait, man. Uh, we off in a rock out. Oh, definitely. I'll be tuned in. Yeah. And I can't, I, can't, I don't know who's going to win. Yeah. But I think this will be another uh, example of R&B winning. Okay. Or hip hop hip -hop and R&B winning and R &B, yeah. at the same time. So let's talk about somebody who does want a battle mm. in a desperate attempt. This. Ja Rule, ja Rule versus 50 Cent. Murder. Now, Redheads, we're going to take a second, a moment of silence, and say, okay, who do y'all think will win? We're giving y'all y'all opportunity right now to type in because we about to go in and right. have a good debate about Ja Rule this. versus 50 Cent, who will win? Hit for hit. Hit for hit now. Now, uh, like, so I feel like Ja Rule will win. Okay. The reason I say Ja Rule will win is because I was at my Lion Brothers house, right? And we were playing Ja Rule Essentials versus 50 Cent Essentials. Correct. Ja Rule was shitting on 50 Cent Essentials. Really? Because Ja Rule got those records you forgot went hard as shit. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yes, they were R&B records with R&B artists. But, the, it, dude, those records, I think that they lived longer than some of 50's records did. Like... If you got down ass bitch versus twenty one questions, right. which one would you like more? If you got always on time, but first of all, I know that Fifty Cent crushed him in the battle. Correct, right? He, well, he they, ended his career. Well, they jumped. They jumped Ja Rule though. They jumped him. Yeah, fifty. But fifty. And if you look at us overall, Fifty Cent slaughtered Ja Rule. He ended his career. You know what I'm saying? So I think the trial ended his career. But okay, the trial. Whoever. Ja Rule's not making hits. Anymore. No, he's not. Fifty's not either. But at that and time, I, yeah. Well, hum, let me get this out. Yeah, yeah, because I'm conflicted about it, bro. So, 50 does have 
hits. His whole first album is a hit. Yeah, it really is. It's like, because we were like, when they were playing 50 Cent Essentials, we yeah. were like, uh, but when we play Get Rich or Die Trying, right. we were like, oh man. So that album alone is worth a battle. See, but my only thing is, what happens when he plays all the records from that album? Then what? That's what I'm saying. After, truthfully, after Get Rich or Die Trying, were you really listening to 50 Cent? I mean, he got Candy Shop. That's not going to work in a battle. He got Window, Window Shopper. Shopper. I like that record, but that ain't nothing to play in no battle. He got... Put it like this, A little bro. bit. I'm going to say this. I really need is I'm going to say this. Those records after Get Rich or Die Trying were for the time records. Right. They were just... They were cool right. at the time. Like, you know, AO Technology. Right. That was a hit, but for that time That's frame, the one with Justin Timberlake, yes, right? Yes, and yeah. Timberland. You know what I'm saying? Now, I Get Money is a classic record. Get I Money, like. yeah, I Get Money is a classic But record. other than that, bro, like, yeah. I even like to have a baby by me, baby B. That was, that was a good that record. That was a dope record. Yeah, yeah, that was a good You know record. what I'm saying? But I don't like 50 Cent's part. I like Neo. Neo's. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I don't even like Neo's part. You know, it was a, another guy who actually sung it. Like, uh, I forgot what his name was. But he wasn't really credited like that. Yeah. They had that version and they had the Neo version. Because mm. I think they played it, I remember back in Jackson yeah. State. They were playing that record heavy yeah. on the radio. And then I think when uh, 50 recognized the potential, he yeah. threw Neo on there. Gotcha. But it's an original. And that dude, it's another hook, too. Gotcha. I'm, I'll play it for you. But, um, um, yeah, I mean, in a... Now, if we count G, I don't know. Are we too? going 20 songs? 20 are they going songs. 20? 20 songs. I, I don't ja know Rule. if 50 can go 20 songs with Not Ja, with ja Rule. Rule. No. I honestly don't know if he can go 20 songs with Ja Rule. Now, some people were saying they were in my inbox. Y'all love arguing my inbox. <laughs> like, they were saying, like, they do, man. <laughs> Folks would see my stuff and be like, go in the inbox. I'm like, bro, come in. Come in right there on yeah. the video. Yeah. So they were saying that hate it or love it and how we do. Now, hate it or love it is a. Wait, those, that's, Th that's the that's game, the game record. Record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. you could pull those up. In nah. Battle. You can't? I No, because those are the game records. Featuring, but can't you do songs that you I don't featuring? think so. That's also why I think Scott Storch lost to Manny Fresh. But, but, I don't but 50 wrote those records, though. No, he didn't. He wrote Hate It or Love It. And he didn't write Gaines verses. Right. But he wrote the record, though. Whose record is it? Hey. I mean, if Jay-Z... Well, no, no. If Some, J, hold on. If Jay-Z battled somebody in a song-for-song song battle, could he yeah. pull out uh, the watcher that he wrote for Dr. Dre? He could and he couldn't pull out still DRE. Could he pull out still, still DRE? DRE? Nah. Could he pull nah. out? But check this out. But, could T.I. play Bow Wow records you, in a battle? True. But listen, the game and Fifty Cent that was both of their records because it's the game and Fifty Cent. That's no, because it appeared record. on both of their albums. It's I'm telling you what it is. Album. Yeah, it's it, on the G Unit album. No, no, no. It ain't on the Fifty Cent. It was album, on though. Fifty Cent's uh, 2005. Or what was oh, that? Uh, yeah, the Massacre. It was a bonus song, but that it appeared on his record. That don't count. Man. It didn't have the game verse. It didn't have the game verse. And how was it? It was all right. Exactly. <laughs> Bruh, it now, was how right. we do, how we, listen, how we do, I say no. But yeah. the, the fact that Hater or Love It appeared on both albums, yeah. I would give him that. But toe to toe with Ja Rule, we I thinking know, about, man. we thinking about, because think about it. His career didn't just get ended right when 50 came out. He was still um, putting out hits. Yeah. New York, New York was a yeah. banger, bro. Hit. Hit. I got a hundred guns, a hundred clips. clips. That's yeah. man. Because after that, Fifty Cent started dissing Ja Rule and, and Jada Kiss. Kiss and oh, Fat and, Joe and, and Fat D Joe. Oh, and Jada Kiss slaughtered him. Have yeah. you ever heard that song? Yeah, I did. Checkmate. Absolutely. Oh my god. Absolutely. Gosh. Yeah. Nigga said I did real songs with Big, not voiceover impressions. Yeah. I was like, oh my god. So my thing is, bro, when you think about it, because Ja Rule had a run from like '98. Correct. Because he had first appeared. Well, he couldn't bring out "Can I Get a What What." Why? That's not his record. No, that's Jay Z's record. record. Yeah. But that was still a yeah. That was a classic record to me. Yeah, it was. Uh, so from '98 all the way to like '03, yeah, Ja Rule was was jamming. He was top. He was top five at that time. Hell, for sure. Him, Jay Z, and uh, DMX were about to have a group. Come, come on, or man. they had a group, but they, they had, had a group called Murder Inc. Nobody but, was touching but them. They, at they, time. they said uh, Irv Gotti says he couldn't get them to get along. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was they were too big, bro. Yeah, the ego they was too, too big. big. Yeah, yeah. You a whole album? Yeah, no, nah, you know that wasn't Jay Z happen. at that time. Yeah, yeah, that that was ridiculous. But I don't, man, bro. I, I don't know. Redheads, y'all tell us what y'all think. Yeah. I, I really think Jaru. 
I'm gonna go with Ja Rule. I go with Ja Rule, bro. Yeah. Um, if it would have happened. Now the funny thing is, Fifty Cent has been making fun of it, but I'm like, why are you playing? Yeah, he make he can make fun of it all he wants. Yeah, but, but why are you playing? You know what? I ja- might I might do a Ja Rule versus Fifty Cent mix. Please, dog, let me be able to talk on it. I I'll might. come over there. We'll I we'll right, get cool. I get might, on the mic. Might. Let me let's let me, do it. I, I ain't got shit but time. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna work on that. Right. I'm gonna work on that. Yeah. I'm gonna come up with. Cause they're not gonna do it. Redheads in the comments. Okay, I want you to put what. Ja Rule songs you like, what 50 Cent songs you like, and we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Check this out, bro. We we already called it. We're going to do it. Since they're not going to do it, we're going to do a 50 Cent versus Ja Rule hit for hit battle. Yeah. We're going to do that here on Red's View or Instagram Live. We'll yeah. record it. We're going to do it. Yeah, we'll do it on Instagram Live and then put it on Red's And put it on Red's yeah, View. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. We finna jam the hell out. I'm yeah. excited about that. All right, so this is another battle. Um, T.I. versus Ludacris. T.I. As far as... Okay, so let's let's first talk about an IG battle. Yeah. Right? Hit for hit. Yeah. You think T.I.? T.I. I don't know. Yeah, T.I. Luda, Luda got... Dude, Luda got more... I think... I think They might be what for what when it comes to hits, but I just personally like T.I.'s music. Yeah. Better. Okay, yeah. so if we talk about the overall artist... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would choose yeah. T.I. Now, first, I, I, I was more of a ludicrous really? fan. Really? Yeah. Like when Ludacris was beefing with Ti for that time period, yeah. Oh, Ludacris is on fire. I, I like Ludacris first too. Yeah, I, I tr- truthfully, I didn't start liking Ti until King came, like full time liking yeah. Ti. So when King, I came started out. liking him before that. Urban Legends is when I started because yeah. I and I know people gonna hate me for saying this. I didn't like trap music. I trap music I wasn't like trap, music, trap music wasn't that dope to me. Yeah, it, it, it was it, like it wasn't mixed like, good. No, 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 no. But twenty fours was a big record off of that, and Rubber Band Man, shout out to David Banner, that was a hit. was a big record off of that. Yeah, his but, singles were good, but I didn't like the album as a whole. But uh-huh. then I heard Urban Legends, and I loved the album as a whole, yeah. which made me go back and listen to uh, so I'm, I'm Serious, I'm Serious, his first album, yeah. which is also hard, yeah. very hard. Now, but I don't know if I'm Serious got no hits on it. No, nah, it don't have none. No, nah. he tried because for real. Well, no, he be- got um, he got um. Yeah, for real, did that one record, but that I don't even know if that's a hit. No. He got um, we'll come I can't think of the it. name of it. <laughs> we'll um, come back to it. You looking good, and them guests are started showing your ass. I can't think of the name of it, but it, it was a hit in Atlanta. It was yeah. a hit oh, in Atlanta. In Atlanta? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I you know but, I didn't know who Ti was when yeah, Tom was, Serious came out. Yeah, it was a hit in Atlanta. I knew Ti once he once trap music yeah, came yeah. out. And I remember the first time I heard T.I. was on Bone Crusher. Never Day. Scared. And Correct. Then, on Recent Bigelow song. Then 24s came out, and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's who this yeah. skinny, light-skinned yeah. dude was. But I did like, I can say this. I liked some of T.I.'s records yeah. at the time. And on Urban Legend, I loved ASAP. Yeah. I liked Get Low. But no. Ludacris was way bigger than him at that yeah, point. Man, yeah, man, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were beefing. Yeah. And Ludacris did that, got that verse on that Stomp record. Yeah. Oh, it was classic. And and one of, one of, uh, one of Ludacris people, I ain't gonna call out his name. Uh-oh. He stole on Ti in a bowling alley. Oh yeah, I ain't gonna he, call I out. I thought he name. stole on him at a, the nah, award show. No, nah, they was at a bowling, bowling alley. alley? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> trust me. But what I can say, and then when Ti and Ludacris did a track together, it was trash. What what's, what song did they do? It was some. Oh, you talking about? Um, wasn't it off of Paper Trail? It was on Paper Trail. Yeah, uh, it, was, it wasn't um, that good. Um, I forgot the name. I used to dream. Oh, whoa. <laughs> about the was, money and the cars and girls. I was, mean. It wasn't good, bro. They, <laughs> that shit was trash. That was equivalent to Jay-Z and Nas. Oh, I Black hated Republicans. when they did that. I Black was like, Republic. why? I was listening to that shit today. That shit was trash. I was like, why did they do that? Just Bruh. We don't have to make Bruh. a song together just because we no longer beef. Right. I'm so glad Jeezy and Gucci didn't do a song together exactly. once they ended their beef. Because it ain't. It, the, the vibe ain't going to be right. right. Now, Jay-Z and Nas now could probably could, have yes. a good record. But at, but that, at that, time, that time, it was it wasn't forced. Work. So I think that hit for hit, like if they were doing a hit for hit battle 2020. I got to go T.I. I don't know, man. Lucas. Okay, you got, just real briefly, you got Roll Out. Yep. What's your fantasy? Southern Hospitality. Southern Hospitality. Hoes. Uh-huh. Um, hey, what area codes? No, no, no. I'm talking about hoes. Oh, you... No, that's Southern Hospitality. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Area Codes. Mm-hmm. Um, you got... Uh, Stand Up. That was a hit. Yep. Um, uh, uh, what's that? Get Back. 
I that's mean, stand up. That's, that's stand up. No, no, no. Get back and stand up are two different things. Come get up. back. Get back. You, you don't know. That's like stand that. up. No, stand up. Stand up. Doom, 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 when doom, I doom. move, you move. That's Just stand like up. That. That's the same song, no, bro. No, it's not. I'm telling you this. Bro. That's the end of the song. No, it's not. Get back. Get back. You, you don't, don't know, know me the, like that. That's the video he had the big arms. That was oh, on yeah, another right, album. You're right, you're right. Yeah. So that's six. All right, cool. Then you got... um. What's another one? You got uh uh Splash Waterfalls. That was a that was a hit. That was a hit. Head down was popping on the headstand. What? That's a hit. That's a hit. Yeah. Money, uh, money Maker was a hit. Which one? Shake your money maker. No, 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 no. That was a hit. Trash. You, you think it was trash? <laughs> trash. Oh, how low can you go? Oh, hit. Uh, uh shit. My chick bad. Hit. All right, we at ten. <laughs> we at ten. Him and that Trey Songs record, Sex Room. That wasn't a major. I, nah, one, but I that think they kind of forced that to be a hit. I okay. think budget made that a hit. Um, All right, so we'll say them ten. Okay, off top, off top, them ten. Right, you got ASAP, ASAP, bring them out. Rubber band man. Rubber band man. Twenty foes. Yep, absolutely. Uh, we still on the early yeah. albums. At the <laughs> Love, live your life. Live your life. Uh, 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 he got uh, what's the song with Jamie Foxx? Live in the sky. You don't think that was a hit? Nah. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't Ride know. with me. Ride bro. with me. Ooh, that shit was hard. Uh, what's that? Uh, 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 damn, what you know about that? What you know? Get loose. Get loose. Uh, 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 and we uh, the shit. We got to go. Let's get away. Motivation. Motivation. Let's uh, get away. Let's get away. <laughs> <laughs> it's some more. Hey, it's some more, too. That no, was easy. But look. But that was an easy team. That look, was an easy team. But we missing some. We missed uh, uh, the one with Mr. Ludacris, one with Mystical on I-20. Oh, uh, move. Move. Okay, cool. Move, so bitch. we at 11? Dude. Yeah, that was they, yeah. Got some, they got some. I mean, they both got some hits now. It probably, it may be even. It'll be a good one. It'll be a good I need to see that. Yeah. Can, hey, Timberland and Swiss Beats, make that happen, Make bro. that happen. T.I. versus Ludacris. That shit would be. Yeah. Because to me, in my personal opinion, solo-wise, those are the biggest ATL rappers that came out of Atlanta. They got the most hits, for sure. Yeah. Definitely. I think Jeezy might have been bigger than Ludacris if you if Ludacris wasn't a movie star. I don't think. No, I disagree I don't think, with that. No, listen, I, Shaka, I that. Aisha, Jeff. Y'all know who y'all are. Make that happen. Yeah. Okay. That'll be Jason dope. Jeter. Uh, that's a that's uh, make dope. that happen, bro. Ti versus Ludacris. We That'll we need dope. that. That'll be so. We dope. need that. Uh, let's talk about somebody else. Now this was a heavy debate, right? Okay. Here. I don't know why, but I kind of understand. But Drew Hill versus Jodeci. I, I don't understand it. <laughs> Drew, Hill Drew Hill versus Jodeci. Not Drew Hill versus Casey and JoJo. <laughs> Drew Hill versus Jodeci. Yeah. That's not even a debate. Drew Hill. Drew Hill. Drew Hill has more way yes. more hits than, than I mean Jersey. they're just they they were a better overall group. overall they were a better, yes. better group. They were. Now, that's not taking any way, thing away from Jodeci no. cuz if we didn't have Jodeci we wouldn't have Drew Hill. Absolutely. But because now I can't say this, the songs that were hits for Jodeci were classic but Drew of course. Hill. Oh my god, dude. They I, they were the last R&B group. I don't really think it was an R&B group like Drew Hill. Now, after Drew Hill Shit, no, it wasn't after Drew Hill. Drew Hill was the last big. Cisco was like the last big like singer that could sing, sing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Me and Jay Smooth did an episode about that. Like, think about it, bro. Incomplete was okay. the number one record in right. America. Hot 100. How many soul records or are in traditional R&B records go number one like that? Mm, I mean, not not many. Not you many. got like John Legend that can do it. And like kind of music soul child, yeah. but but the R&B that we knew, yeah, you know. So no, I I don't think I think incomplete Drew, was number one. Yes, bro, that's crazy. That's unbelievable. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, because that's a real R&B record. Thong song didn't go number one. Thong song is classic. Though. It's classic. It's trash, but it's classic. All right, here we go. I ain't finna go in that. But incomplete went number one. Yeah, one hundred. So I would say I don't now. Boys to men, they were dope. Yeah, but that, mean, that, that's kind of different. Yeah, but that was before. It, uh, uh, Drew Hill anyway though. Yeah, they were yeah. before Drew Hill, but yeah, uh, they were talking about uh, Jodeci, Jodeci. I'm like, th listen, those are maybe your favorites, but yes. we're talking about Stay who off the go drugs. hit for hit. Stay off the drugs. Yeah, Jodeci but, don't want no smoke with Drew Hill. <laughs> with Drew Hill. <laughs> what about KC and uh, Cisco? If they had a ooh yeah battle, who you think win? Well, Cisco can sing better than KC to me. So, what you think, Sean? I think KC and JoJo got better records than Cisco though. Oh, and solo wise. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely, man. If Casey you put and Casey JoJo, and JoJo versus Cisco. Yeah, then you got Casey and JoJo. Casey and JoJo to me was like a 
different ver- they weren't even Jodeci. No, they were more they so, was a totally different group. Yeah, like what they they Jodeci did a lot of bedroom records. Yeah. And Casey and JoJo did a lot of love records. Love records and also damn um religion like kind of gospel records. Yeah, they bit. did ballads. Yeah, they did yeah. a lot of ballads. Like yeah. songs that reached a whole nother audience. Correct. Because Honestly, I mean, and it was crazy because I I knew Jodeci, but I didn't recognize when I was little that Casey and JoJo was them was from a part Jodeci. of that. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember when I saw Casey and JoJo, the first time I I knew about them as a duo was that All My Life song, but yes. I didn't know classic back then. Like that that was they were classic. part of Jodeci, but yeah. Classic. So yeah, that's that. Uh, and we got one more. The Source magazine versus Double XL magazine. Were you an avid reader of that, those magazines? Uh, no, I wasn't. Um, I mean, I I'm gonna go to Source. Double XL. No, Double XL. What did Double XL do better besides they uh, had when better, they started the ciphers? No, Double XL for one had better. Uh, they they interviewed more people that I was more interested in. Yeah. at the time. Um, but that's just because the, the source probably couldn't get them. Though. Yeah, but even if you look through the magazines, yeah. like Double XL, I just remember because I used to collect those like a mug. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now the source was hotter, of course, yeah. in the early '90s, and then going in. But then once I think the millennium hit, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Double XL just started. They had more people being more real on there. I, the source felt a little bit more corporate. I gotta rock with the source because for me, the opposite of that, the source is more of the culture. And Double XL seemed more like, I don't know. It just wasn't ran by us, so I just didn't rock with it because of that. The source was a little bit, but then yeah. it stopped after yeah. a while. Well, I mean, you know, but I, I when you get sponsors source. and stuff. You yeah, gotta, you start yeah. doing it. Yeah, yeah but shout out to the source. Though. Yeah, shout out to the source. Shout what happened to, to Benzino? Huh. Why? He ran up against Eminem. That's what happened. Yeah, but I mean, he's a good reality star. Right? He lives here in Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, but... uh. <laughs> But anyway, uh, you said something. Yeah, I did. <laughs> so, what battles would y'all like to see? What battles do you think are worthy of happening? Like we said, we're gonna do that uh, Fifty Cent versus Ja Rule for real. And y'all need to get the Ti versus Ludacris. Uh, I think that's Listen, very, that, very that worthy. need to happen. That needs to happen absolutely. But anyway, y'all, thank you for rocking with us during this quarantine. Thank you for rocking with us. Period. You see, Two Chains called out Meek Mill. Uh, but yeah, that that was ridiculous. Let's let's talk about that. So two chains, and that, I saw Fab on the Breakfast Club yeah. talking about it. He was just like, it's kind of corny. I'm paraphrasing what he said. It's kind of corny to you trying to choose who you battle right. versus the fans and the people Correct. saying this is who you should go against. Because two chains versus Meek Mill, who want to see that battle? I mean, I, I don't because I mean they two different type of rappers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Meek Mill, like. Not that Two Chains can't rap. Yeah, no, no, but, no, I'm not Me- saying that. But Meek Mill goes in a booth to me and makes songs. Two Chains goes in a booth and makes hits. Yeah, absolutely. and so it wouldn't even be a fair battle because after you play Dreams and Nightmares the and Intro and yeah. I'm a Boss and songs and, from Championships, the way, right. what, what do you got? What, he what never got? had no hits. No, nah, because he's not that. He's a rapper. Like we yeah. all know, Philly rappers don't really just be having hits Hit like records, that. Right. They be, but they can rap. Yeah. Now, bar for bar, in my opinion, Chains don't want to see Meek Mill, but hit for hit, it would be a Two blowout. Chains, duh. It would be a blowout. Yeah. I mean, birthday. Uh, what well, you you? Exactly. Yeah, I ain't even gonna do that. Two yeah, yeah, Chains yeah. should try to battle somebody like a Jeezy. Yes, somebody, somebody, who's somebody in that, that got trap somebody category. that makes hit hit records, and then it's more so like how we're saying Babyface versus Teddy. Correct. Rock, Swiss Beast versus Timberland, like Swiss Beast and Timberland have a lot in common because right. they work with some of the same Correct. people. A lot of the same people. You know what I'm saying? Two so, Chains got a battle like Jeezy. Jeezy. Yeah. Yo Gotti. Yeah. Somebody, Somebody like that. Somebody like that. Yeah, we don't yeah, want to yeah. see you battling. Me, y'all me, y'all me. not even the same type of rapper. No. like, no. And that's why we were like Fabulous. They were like Fabulous. You should try to go against Two Chains. It's like they're two different. Nope. Then they got two different fan bases. I, you know what I'm saying? Like Two Chains fans may not be like he may get favorited over a Fabulous. Right, but Fabulous fans is going to favor him over 2 Chains. Over 2 Chains yeah. versus Teddy Riley and Babyface. Right. We're like, I don't know. And Swiss Beast and Timberland, they they each have kind of the same fans. Yeah, they do. Because they have the same era. Yeah. They work Even with Jay-Z. Timberland is way better. Here, here you go. I knew he was going to say that. No. Uh, Swiss zone, Beast. zone, zone. Zone, zone. Shout out to t- we gotta really shout them out for having. No, they are dope though. They are dope. The man, thank y'all for coming up with this because yeah. it's really keeping us entertained. Um, 
How do you feel about when Teddy Riley said that he wanted to charge? Um, I didn't have a problem with it. Yeah. I, I mean, I, yeah, I didn't have a problem with it either. I just think that if you present something that's free, yeah. you need to keep it that way. Well, yeah. I, I think what they should do, instead of charging like straight out, I think they should partner with like uh, uh, Tidal first, of course. But if not Tidal, Apple Music, Spotify, or some type of streaming platform mm -hmm. and do it through them. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think that um, a lot of battles are coming up. Um, you know, it would be tight. You versus Don Juan. I think y'all should have a uh, DJ. I'm battle. talking about DJ battle. DJ battle. <laughs> That'll be dope, right? Yeah. Get some battles. I'm That'd just making dope. shit up. Honestly. <laughs> anyway. No, I would. Bump. I would battle my dog though. That's my yeah. dog though. That's like my brother though. So I mean, it'll be love. Yeah. But we could dope. definitely battle. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, shout out to like I said, everybody for joining us uh, during this quarantine. You already know where to find me at at J A Y R three D. Where do we find you at Yo, on social media platforms? At T H E E D J P M or at T H E E B E G R E A T group. The B Great Group. Yes, sir. Uh, Either <clears> one. Also, make sure make sure you hit that alert button and make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash We Authentic Network. Download, stream my album once too. It's available on all streaming platforms. Yes, sir. We love y'all. This is J Red. This is DJ PM, and we're signing out. Don't give up, you gon' be on Don't give up, don't give up, give up Don't give up, you gon' be on Don't give up, don't give up, give up Don't give up, you gon' be on Don't give up, don't give up, give up Don't give up, you gon' be on Don't give up, give up, give up, give up